morning and happy Sunday. Welcome back to another video, another vlog, another week in my life. Um, yeah, it's Sunday morning right now. There is construction outside and the bird is making a lot of noise. So I'm hoping I can quickly chat before either get too loud, too noisy. Um, so I just have my coffee this morning. It's like 11 a.m. already. I slept in until 10 a.m. Um, so I just did my first check-in this morning with this uh, with my new coach. I still haven't gotten my program from my coach or any <laughs> updates, so I'm not entirely sure what she's expecting in the check-in. So I just took some quick measurements and then I took like all my photos in my uh, bikini. But yeah, I'm gonna work on editing my last video right now. I'm not sure what my plans are for today. It is beautiful weather outside so it would be nice to get outside um i think we have a little bit of yard work to do as well but otherwise i don't know if i should like be planning to work out today if i need to go grocery shopping for my meal plan everything's kind of up in the air until i get any more information from my coach so it's kind of a bummer but i'm trying to be as patient as i can be but anyways thanks for uh clicking into this video and let's just get right into the vlog having some dumplings for dinner tonight because I had no real plan as to what I was gonna eat. I'm still waiting for my meal plan from my coach so I didn't take anything out from the freezer. So hopefully she sends it to me soon because otherwise I'm just gonna keep eating random food until we start. But we had these uh, pork dumplings in the freezer and the macros are actually pretty good. I think for like one third of the package you get 21 grams of protein. And what was it, like 250, 300 calories, somewhere around there. So anyways, I just steam these quickly and I put a little bit of vinegar on them. So let's try them. They're really hot. Mm. They're so good. Very satisfying. They're called shumai. If you go to a restaurant, you say shumai. Shumai. Mm. These are really good. I'm gonna eat these and probably scroll through my phone. Good morning, what is up? <clears throat> I have morning voice. It's actually 10.50. I wanted to get up at 8 this morning, um, but was pretty much wide awake from like 3 till 4.30 in the morning last night because our AC was making noise in the window because it was really windy, and then the cat was pulling at the screen in the window, and it was just a bunch of chaos. So anyways, I slept in this morning. Still waiting for my meal plan, um, but I'll show you what I make, and I don't really have a lot um, on hand because I've been holding off going grocery shopping until I know exactly what I need. So this is my quick, super easy, um, fairly high protein, healthy breakfast idea. All right, I'm just gonna grab some Greek yogurt, super quick and easy. You really can't go wrong with Greek yogurt if you're looking for a calorie friendly, high protein meal. Um, a serving size is 175 grams. I'm probably gonna do like 215 to 250. We'll see how much I have left. That's 225 grams plus whatever's on my spoon. We'll take that. I just add a sweetener because Greek yogurt is very tart. This is plain, 0% unsweetened Greek yogurt. So I add one twin sweetener, and then I'm gonna do my uh, twice the fruit strawberry jam. This is just slightly less uh, sugar, less calories than a typical jam. This really mimics like the fruit on the bottom um, little cups that you can buy, but this way you're getting a higher volume of actual Greek yogurt, which has all the protein and some probiotics, and then just a slightly lower sugar jam, which is nice. And then on the side of this, I am just going to finish off a little bit of pineapple that I have. So such a quick and easy breakfast. Um, protein, lots of carbs. There's really no fat in this meal, so you could combine it. You could have some peanut butter on the side, like just a tablespoon, or you could have some nuts or something, but I'm just gonna eat this for now and kind of wait and see. Hopefully I get my meal plan today. 
and I can kind of structure the rest of my meals around that, but we'll see how things go. shift today is a pickup shift so which is not something I commonly do but I did not have anything prepared to eat today um, but I ended up with basically the same meal you will have seen in my last video which I think is an important point that once you're eating healthy on a fairly regular basis you start having some fairly staple meals. So basically what I'm trying to say is, I did not have anything planned today, I did not have anything prepped, but I had taken out some ground turkey this morning, knowing I needed some sort of protein source for supper. I've been avoiding going grocery shopping until I get my meal plan. But on an hour notice, I was still able to come up with a lunch and a supper that has carbs, protein, veggies, obviously some fat in it from the ground turkey um, and this only took probably 10-15 minutes for me to prepare so once you get some healthy meal staples it gets a lot easier um, and honestly once you use a little bit less variety in your day-to-day -day meals it's just a lot easier to get things prepared even on a short notice that still meet your nutritional goals so I'm gonna eat this really quick and then I gotta head out the door and run to work Another day, another ground turkey meal. This is my lunch for today. Just got home from the gym, showered, and now I'm gonna eat this. All right, Johnny's lunch is a homemade calzone. First attempt at this. Let's see if it's burning hot. But yeah. Just crust. <laughs> the crust is the best part mm -hmm. on this dough. It tastes good because the pizza dough is good. Mm -hmm. That's all. It's cooked. Mm hmm. Nice. ended up working an evening shift yesterday that was unexpected. It was a pickup shift for me last minute. So I had to drive an hour to work, work my eight hour shift and then drive an hour home. I was at work from 3 p.m. till 11 p.m. slightly after 11. And yeah, so that's pretty much all I did yesterday. I did film um, my workout in the basement yesterday, went to work, came home, went to sleep. So nothing too exciting happened yesterday. Today, it is now Tuesday. Um, we went to the gym. Johnny and I went to the gym today. I filmed a TikTok in the gym. So I do have just some short clips from um, my shoulder workout from the gym today. Obviously, this is my first time doing a bikini competition. So that's entirely new to me. But as far as like general health and fitness goes, I feel quite competent in my knowledge. I do work as a nurse. Um, my specialty is in psychiatric nursing, but I still had education in anatomy, physiology, microbiology, all of that while I was in school. Not that I think that school education is a great foundation for practical um, health and fitness advice, 
but this has also just been like my personal passion for as long as I can remember. Like I started going to the gym really young. I grew up doing gymnastics um, and I've always just had an interest in kind of the conditioning side of things and just working out. And I started going to the gym young and I've been doing this for a long time and I read a lot and I am just applying things and trying things and learning as I go. So I do feel like I have a good foundation of knowledge to begin with that I understand how to build muscle. I understand how to lose fat. Um, so it's not so much the basic knowledge that I'm looking for. Obviously with a bikini prep, there's some nuances that I have no experience with. So there's obviously a set time frame to lose weight, which I think is gonna be much more rapid than something I'm used to. Really what I'm looking for is someone who can be there outside of the physicality. Yes, I want someone to give me nutrition advice. Yes, I would love for someone to write my program for me. Um, I am looking for someone to give me the cardio schedule, all of that. But what I really want is someone who can be there for me and who I can develop that coach-athlete relationship with. I'm looking <clears throat> to create a relationship with someone who understands where my interest to compete as a bikini competitor comes from because I do think that in the general population it's still relatively niche so when I'm speaking to my friends or my co-workers it's not something that a lot of people can relate to nor do they understand the details even though they I have a lot of people who are supportive they don't understand where my interest and my passion comes from. So I'm hoping to have someone who I can connect with on that level and then have someone who can, yeah, be there and give me that that reassurance and help me build my confidence going forward and help me, uh, help me just be able to get through this experience. I just want someone who I, who can make this fun. I want someone who I can talk to. I want someone who I can be like, yes, this was a really good workout and who gets excited about those things with me. I am passionate about fitness and so to me it's like a no-brainer. I love working out five days a week. I love having to schedule my life around my workouts. I realize and so often it's in the moment I don't have any motivation and I don't have the energy but in the grand scheme of things this is what I love and so I want someone who can support this love that I have and relate to this interest that I have and help me along the way to just figure out where I'm going, what I'm doing, how do I channel this energy into this sport in a successful manner. I'm gonna go down and eat supper. It's really beautiful outside today, so I might try to get outside for a walk as well and film a little bit of how nice the weather is right now. But anyways, I just wanted to sit down and chat. That's enough rambling on. Let's get back into the vlog. <laughs> quick breakfast and then Johnny and I are gonna head out and I think I am going to train um, some more <laughs> glutes today so I will try and get some clips of that as well this is my gym outfit I have my women's best bright red pants I have had these for several years and then this is just a little like lululemon mini top that I really like back is cute I think I've worn this exact outfit in a vlog before so it is a staple to the grocery store. Woohoo! I got my program and my meal plan so we are gonna go 
try and grab some groceries right now um, hopefully relatively quickly because I have to meet my sister this afternoon I am expecting that we're going to have to get um, some stuff from Costco tomorrow I definitely know there are things that are cheaper at Costco um, but I want to try and grab as much as I can um, from Superstore right now hopefully like a week's worth of groceries so that I can meal plan because I'm working this weekend not meal plan um, meal prep because I'm working this weekend and start to get on track and just get things organized and get going. I'm excited. The meal plan looks really good. Um, I think it's very <laughs> reasonable. I've never been on a meal plan before, so this will be a new experience for me. We are gonna go shopping really quick with my chauffeur. Is this six enough or do you want two? There's like only four packages. The best rice cakes. So this free killer is the best price they have. So you get one kilogram for $6. I think we're going to look at Cosmo and see... Uh, I know it's better value at Costco. This is also vanilla. I need plain. <laughs> All right, here is the overview of today's grocery haul. So we got some protein. I grabbed some chicken breast and then ground turkey. We picked up two of the natural peanut butters because they were on sale. Trying some cream of rice for the very first time, being initiated into the bodybuilding world. And then for our other carbs, I pretty much just got a sweet potato, and then we got four things of rice cakes, because they were also on sale. And then just a few fruits and veggies. We picked up some more produce yesterday, so this should be good for the week. Two bell peppers, this bag of green beans. We got some strawberries and some more bananas. That is the entire haul. It feels really small. Um, but this combined with the stuff we already have at home should hopefully last me for like an entire week. It is 6.30 and we are on our way to Costco grocery shopping round two. Um, it is so hot out today. It's plus 30. And yeah, I think between like the heat and then a pretty hard workout yesterday and a pretty hard workout today. I'm feeling a little bit tired, um, a little bit low energy, so I haven't done a ton so far today. Um, so I'm gonna grab a couple things at Costco and then do a little bit of meal prep when we get home. It's like a 10, 15 minute drive to Costco from our place. It shouldn't hopefully be too busy right now on a Thursday evening, but we'll see. I just grabbed some frozen blueberries to have with my yogurt during the week. I'm gonna pop these in the freezer quickly because they are melting. Um, asparagus were the most affordable vegetables for the week. Well, we just compared asparagus and green beans. So I got some asparagus that I'm gonna have. And then we did grab some more strawberries as well. As well. Um, strawberries are a good price right now, so that's nice. Stocked up on the Costco uh, pink Himalayan salt. This should hopefully last me a very long time. Well, it says ground pink salt. So is that the same thing as pink Himalayan salt? It's pink salt. We got some pink salt. And then I got some more egg whites. I think I should go through about a carton and a half a week. So this should last me two weeks. Egg whites are a good price at Costco. And then lastly, I got my um, Greek yogurt. So we figured out the price and it's, um, it's like 60 cents per 100 grams at Superstore if you buy the club size one kilogram container that I showed you that they only had in vanilla flavor. Costco uh, sells Kirkland brand 0% Greek yogurt, um, plain in packages of three, and this comes out to about 58 cents, 59 cents, somewhere in there. So the price is pretty comparable, but at least this one I know I'm getting the plain, no sugar added, 0% fat. So I grabbed two uh, things of Greek yogurt. These 
are don't expire for about a month and I think I should be able to get through them in around three weeks so this should hopefully last me hopefully that is it for grocery shopping this week that is trip number three so I'm ready to stop spending money and stop putting groceries away don't mind my not very clean and not aesthetically organized fridge but i did also just want to mention that we have a pretty good size fridge um and sometimes it is even still too crowded to fit two packages of greek yogurt uh into the fridge so that is something to consider as well um if you're gonna buy two or like two i used to get the cottage cheese as well or like all these cartons of egg whites costco is a good price um but you have to be able to store all of it so just something to consider. Sometimes the fridge gets like to become quite the Tetris game to fit everything in here. Not doing awesome on the keeping the kitchen clean, but I think it's actually not as bad as it looks. I don't know if it's from the workouts the last two days or what. I guess I haven't been paying that much attention to my sleep either. I could probably be getting better sleep, but oh, I'm tired today. My legs are extremely sore as well. So that just like contributes. Um, I did get all of my stuff done today. I got my workout done. I did my cardio. I did my abs. I ate on my meal plan. Um, so all of that's good. I tried to do some meal prep for the next few days so it's thursday today so basically when i work i stay with my parents because they live closer to where i work because i work an hour away from where uh, i live in the city so i like to have all my meals ready and bring them with me um but i'm going to have to adjust to preparing six meals so right now, as I got my meal prep ready, I realized I'm pretty short on a lot of, um, mostly like I think I need to make more carbs and more vegetables. I have enough chicken, I think until Sunday. So I'm gonna make more chicken in the slow cooker tomorrow. And then I cook my ground turkey and that should be enough for five days and I'm not going to eat any tomorrow so that should get me through I'm going to have my salmon in place of turkey tomorrow so that should get me through until I'm back in the city as I was going through and doing the meal prep I had a moment of being like I'm in over my head I can't do this because I was trying to keep track of what meals I was preparing my food for tomorrow and then also for work and so I was trying to keep track of what meals were which and how many grams of veggies went in which and which veggies go in which one and I was just like oh my god I don't have enough stuff I'm gonna have to cook every single day there's just like this is so hard um but thankfully I kept going I did what I could do today I have all of my breakfasts ready I have all of my food for tomorrow ready I have all of my food for um Friday ready so it's really not that dramatic but it felt dramatic in the moment and I really just had to remind myself that everything takes practice and it's going to feel hard anything new is going to feel hard it's okay things are meant to be hard and the way things will get easier is as i learn and i practice and i get better and i just develop the skills and the knowledge to be able to do this i think i was going into it with the impression that my current meal prep was going to translate to this meal plan meal prep and i don't think it's far off but I have to kind of scale things up. I'm prepping a lot more food and just be a little bit more organized going forward. But it's definitely not impossible. It's all gonna be okay. If need be this week, I will prepare things as I need them. I can cook at my parents' house. It's not like they don't have a kitchen. So I will get through this, this first week of prep. I am feeling like a little disorganized. I feel like I have things to do, like I said earlier, but then I'm not really sure what to do. And I don't know if it's just because I'm tired. The workouts are catching up to me this week because I just, I haven't been doing that much volume as well as the weather's really hot. I think there's just a lot going on. And I do have like a little bit of anxiety too because I'm going back to work on Saturday. I haven't worked a day shift since before we went on vacation in May. And I always get a little bit of anxiety before work when I've had even like a week off. I just feel a little nervous going back for my first shift. So I think I'm just feeling a little bit overwhelmed so i'm going to try to prioritize sleep i'm going to keep doing the things i enjoy which are going to the gym 
getting my steps in, trying to do better at drinking my water. I did okay today. I felt like I'm drinking a lot of water, but I definitely didn't get four liters. Um, so I want to do a little bit more, a little bit better with that and sticking to my meal plan and everything else. I mean, all of this is just a hobby. I have to remember to keep up my other responsibilities like cleaning the house and watering the grass outside. But I think everything is going to be doable in time. It's just gonna take some patience and some practice. Mm, yeah, but that's that's the way it goes and that's the whole point of this experience is to get to learn. Um, I know my first time going through this is not gonna be perfect and that is completely okay. It's also, I think, feeling a little shaky because I started off this week on like a Wednesday, not super organized, so I know that next week is gonna feel better, but I also know that there's no such thing as a perfect week, so it's gonna be what it's gonna be. But I am gonna finish getting ready for bed right now <laughs> and then I'm going to take a quick bath and try to get a good sleep so that I can hopefully do it all again tomorrow, but a little bit better this time around. So the next time around. to get as much of my food ready as I can um, with being mindful of how long everything is going to keep for in the fridge. So for my work shift tomorrow, I'm gonna bring with me, I have breakfast um, back in the back. I just have some um, oats measured out and then I have hard boiled eggs that I've prepared as well. And then I have in the fridge, my oats for tomorrow are oats, my peanut butter, and I put the egg white in with the oats. And then I'm gonna have one hard boiled egg on the side. So my breakfast should be good to go for the next five days. And then I'm gonna bring, this is my rice with bell pepper and chicken for lunch. My third meal tomorrow will be uh, turkey with rice and asparagus. And then I already portioned out this uh, serving of chicken with asparagus and rice, but this will be for my supper. So I won't be bringing that with me to work. I think I'll probably bring also my fruit with some peanut butter on the side as a meal but I haven't portioned that out yet. And then I'm going to, I have one more serving of my ground turkey portioned out already. So this is green beans with ground turkey and rice. So that is gonna be Sunday's meal. Um, but that's the only meal I've assembled for Sunday so far. So along with that, I'm just gonna bring home, this is two days worth of rice that I've already prepped that I can use to assemble meals for uh, the rest of Sunday as well as Monday and then I have enough ground turkey to last me hopefully until Tuesday and then I also have asparagus probably three servings of asparagus here so this should get me through Monday Tuesday Wednesday without any issue I may pop this in the freezer um, just to help it last a little bit longer and then I've got my bell peppers and onion just chopped and cooked here. I don't know how many days worth of um, veggies this is. Hopefully this is four days worth, but it might be a little bit less. So if I do run out, I will just grab some cucumber and chop that up and have that as well. And then lastly, I have, so let's just see here. I have all of my chicken for Saturday. And then this is enough chicken for Sunday. And then I have these three bags that look kind of gross but this is all cooked chicken that I've just pre-portioned um so this will give me Monday Tuesday Wednesday so I'm going to put the bags in the freezer just so that this keeps a little bit fresher so that is basically everything that I've meal prepped so far um it's been a little bit of a disorganized prep for me I've just been like struggling to wrap my brain around what meals I'm bringing with me to work I need meals for supper as well this is all pretty much only food for work right now and then when I'm at home I'll have to prep my supper as well as basically my last three meals of the day, but uh, one of them is Greek yogurt, so it's a little bit simpler. I can, I'll can, i try to show you everything. I wanna try and get everything packed up right now, and I'll give you a look at what everything I'm bringing with me is gonna look like. Trying to keep everything organized in my head. I'm feeling like a tiny bit overwhelmed, but I think this is the majority of the food I'm bringing with me. I am. 
not looking cute, I apologize. And somebody's mowing their grass outside, but I literally don't have any other time to film. I am going to wrap up this video here. I didn't film a ton today. It was a little bit of a chaotic day. I am definitely feeling a little bit overwhelmed right now. I want to continue to create content and I want to pursue my passion in fitness, but obviously I still have to show up for my job. And it definitely is a challenge, I think, to maintain um, different goals and things. And meal prepping right now has taken a lot of my mental space and energy today. So I showed you um, more or less what my meals look like. I went through, I think I have all the food I need. I just happen to be working a longer stretch this week, so I'm hoping moving forward I'll be more organized and things will just go a little bit smoother with meal prepping. I know that that's going to be the case, it's just going to take practice to get there. So anyways, um, what my plans for the rest of the evening, I would like to, I have two meals left to eat. I am going to finish editing this video that you're watching right now and then I'm going to drive the 45 minute drive to my parents house and try and go to sleep at a decent time because I have to be up at 5am tomorrow. So I just wanted to wrap up this video here. I hope you enjoyed another week in my life, um, another very typical week in my life, but also my very first time starting a bikini prep. We are technically 20, 20 and like a quarter weeks out right now, so this is gonna be a very exciting process and I'm excited to share more with you. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to the channel if you wanna follow more of my bikini prep journey or just my health and fitness journey in general. Let me know if you have any questions or if there's any topics you want me to address over the next five months of prep. Um, I would love to, yeah, film anything, create anything that's gonna be valuable to you guys. I wanna engage with you more and start building a bit more of an audience here. I really appreciate you watching the video. I hope you are having a wonderful week. I hope you have an amazing weekend. I hope whenever you watch this video, things are going well for you, no matter where you are right now. Um, just remember to keep yourself a priority. Keep going after the things that excite you. Don't second guess yourself. Try not to overthink things. Just keep going. Don't give up um, and just keep crushing your goals. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.